everyone. Welcome back to another mukbang. Today I'm back with gomak bibimbap. <laughs> gomak is um, uh, it's really fat. And uh, let me look up what it's called. I think it was called a like, kako. Yeah, it's the blood kako or blood clam. I think it's called blood clam because it's so the clam itself is so dark. Um, but could be wrong but it's very soft it's very fat it's very juicy i know that it's not in season anymore but they do sell the canned ones so i wanted to make like that kind of like a muchim kind of like a marinated kako clam with uh bibimbap so i have some pepper green pepper and cucumber kimchi and what else do i have chives and then I have raw onions. So when I first looked at this recipe and I was like, oh my god, raw onions is going to be really raw and spicy. Um, but I tasted it. it, it it's, I don't know how it's supposed to taste because I never had it before. And this is my first time making it slash trying it. So I don't know how it's supposed to taste like. So I didn't really want to share a recipe because I don't know if it's a good recipe. There are a lot of... Um, recipe videos on YouTube. You guys could look up, look up like Korean kako, uh, bop or something like that. Um, well, anyways, I'm pairing it with some pho, cup noodle pho. In my drink, I have la croix, la croix. Sorry, la croix. I have some kimchi right here. I think I don't know if you can see. I have some kimchi right here. So gomak looks like this. It's pretty big, right? Very juicy. Okay. I usually like my rice very uh, sticky and wet, but it came out so dry, like go there, go there, and I don't like that. Oh well. I'm going to kind of pack it a little. See, it doesn't pack because it's so dry. And I have some gomak. Why am I blowing on it? No, I don't know how it's supposed. I think this is how it's supposed to taste like. But I guess I meant to say I don't know how a good goma bibimbap is supposed to taste like. But this is really good, so I probably will share the uh, ingredients with you guys, maybe in the description box, so you guys can at least try it out. It's a little different bibimbap from the regular bibimbap you might be used to because that one you use pepper paste as seasoning, but this one there's none of that. So it's a little bit more dry feeling to it, but mm. I 
know that normally they don't add the cucumber kimchi in here, but I add I had it. My mom made it for me once, and I added it in my bibimbap, and I really like the texture of it. So I started adding it into all of any kind of like mixed rice. It's so good. Mmm. Pepper is spicy. You know the <clears throat> onions? I don't know if I'm, the, I'm getting the spice from the onions or the the peppers, but it's okay. Like, I thought the onions would stand out a lot, but Maybe I shouldn't have made this because it's getting really spicy. And I don't think I want to eat something hot when my mouth is burning right now. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Wow. Oh my 
god. So clean. This is, I mean, they call it pho, like saigusu, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like Vietnamese style pho. Because it tastes more like. So I had a pretty rough morning because, well, I was supposed to film uh, that japagetti. You know, mom, the hwasa from Mamamoo. She came out in this Korean show called um, Na Hunja Sanda or I Live Alone. It's basically filming, documenting, well, it's kind of a variety show, but documenting celebrities who live alone and like, you know, see what they eat, or what they do throughout the day. And this girl named Hwasa, she is a K-pop, K-pop celebrity, um, and she's in a group called Mamamoo, and she is really like, she's kind of like Korean like woman crush kind of, you know. But she's really, she's really cool. She seems really like, down to earth and chill. But she ate this thing called truffle japagetti, or two uh, truffle jajangmyeon. Uh, basically, she used the instant uh, baguette noodles, and she added egg yolks and truffle oil. And apparently, according to her, it's supposed to taste very, very, it's supposed to taste more like elevated and very like fancy. So I ordered, Am- I ordered the truffle oil from Amazon. It's not just oil; it comes with extra truffles in it. I know that she uses just the oil, but I wanted to kind of like upgrade more and do that. But it was supposed to arrive yesterday. It didn't. I was supposed to get it, receive it yesterday and film it this morning and upload it. But now that it's not gonna happen, I'm going to have to film tomorrow and um, upload in a couple of days. But it's kind of crazy because I guess the driver of the the Amazon kind of made a mistake, and we would have never really figured it out if our like concierge didn't help us out. He kind of like called the Amazon, and like I guess he kind of yelled at them a little because it's because it wasn't the first time. So I'm getting it today. I kind of wish that I got a re- refund, like free, like they, they gave it to me for free because they really screwed it up. <laughs> I mean, I'm paying Amazon Prime, right? Or it's not soup. Like normally I wouldn't have cared, but I was so excited to film it because everyone's like raving about it. But actually, that's not the reason why I had a rough morning. It started like that, but I was so determined to film that this morning, right? So I'm like, okay, then I know that in the Target or like Mariano's, they wouldn't have truffle oil. I knew, if anything, I knew that Trader Joe's would have it. Uh, and there's this place called Italy. I know they have it for sure, but it was kind of far from me. I didn't want to drive all the way there in the morning. Like Chicago traffic is horrible all day, so I didn't want to go through that. And Trader Joe's is pretty close to me, so I decided to go there this morning as soon as they opened. And I woke up early. I went there, and um, they didn't have it. So I was really pissed because <laughs> I I actually looked it up online and there they do make Trader Joe version of truffle oil, but I guess they don't have it everywhere or they just didn't have it in stock. I don't know what it was, but they didn't have it. So I was really mad. I'm like, okay, now I really can't film. So I decided to go to H Mart and get ingredients for this. But I went. It was like eight thirty in the morning and they opened at nine nine o'clock. 
So I was like, okay, I can go home and come back or I could just sit here for 30 minutes. And I was trying to decide what to do and I sat there for 30 minutes. And they didn't even open on time. They were like five minutes late. You know, I know that that's not the worst thing that could happen to somebody in the morning. And I know I'm just spoiled and kind of really complaining. But, you know, I'm just saying kind of like it wasn't a rough morning. It was just a lot different from other mornings that I planned to have. I mean, I really like to just get all the ingredients and prep for my mukbang the day before in the afternoon-ish. Because that's when I'm most active. I mean, I'm pretty active in the morning, but only at home. But if I go out, I want to go out after you know i feel mukbang in the morning or like you know just during the day i don't want to go anywhere in the morning i just want to be home clean this prep i just do all the housework in the morning right but the fact that i had to drive outside like during traffic hour when everyone's going to work it was just like driving me nuts and since like yeah last night i was just kind of like uh like already like it was bothering me already like oh my god i have to wake up tomorrow and i have to go get this and i hope they have it and i wasn't even sure they had it and it was i realized that later that night that i could even call, call trader joe's and ask if they had it so i guess i could have called this morning but oh, this is so good Soup is kind of disappearing on me. You know, I know that it's it's one person's choice an individual's choice to but how do i explain this no i just feel like okay i don't want to blame the society or anything i don't want to be that person but honestly the you know how like the older like you know the time passes it just everything is getting so convenient everything's easy everything is accessible and i think the easier things get the more we complain the more we get spoiled and I am not an exception, obviously. <laughs> you know, like, it just... the, You know, like, even on... I don't know, even before Amazon existed or they did start doing Prime or whatever, like, it took a long... A lot... It took a long time for us, us to receive anything. Like, there was no, no such thing as, like, you know, Prime or whatever, like, that delivers overnight or something like that. So, I'm just being spoiled. But I just really wanted to film that today. I really wanted to try it out. I feel like I really, I'll really love it because I, I tried the truffle pasta when we went to Paris last year. It was my first time trying truffle. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Actually, did I try truffle before that? No, I don't think I did.
so when my truffle comes i'm planning to make kind of recreate you know, that uh, truffle pasta i had a uh, had in paris i'm excited to do that but my truffle needs to come first right so last year was it last year I guess last year was pretty crazy for me, but I tried truffle, and when we went, when Tong and I went to um, Lake Tahoe with our friend, and we took a day to drive to San Francisco, and from there we tried, we went to do, we went to the sushi place and we tried the the caviar. Um, we so we got omakase, right, and basically omakase is like you basically eat whatever the chef gives you serves you and we got this caviar dish and it was my first time trying caviar i don't know i don't think that one's for me i mean truffle is definitely like i love truffle but i don't know if caviar was for me it was just like i don't know it was mm, it's kind of weird it's something that you can't have a lot Oh, you have to have very little bit of it. Definitely a delicacy. You know how truffles, um, you know, pigs, they, you know, humans can't find that. They have to use ants. They, they used to use pigs because they could sniff out truffles. Because truffles grow, grow, you know, they get to, they are like, they grow in the deep ground or something. So the only, like, pigs were able to smell it and dig it out but the problem with using pigs they find it very well but they eat it so you know the truffles are really hella expensive right so they're like okay well, we can't keep um affording these, these pigs eating our truffles so they switched over to dogs so there are like some dogs that get trained to find truffles um so i heard that in italy was it italy or paris or somewhere like around that area when people rob those houses, they don't take cash. They don't take truffles. They take the dog because they know that that's, that's the money maker. So me and Tung were talking the other day. We're like, wouldn't it be so crazy, just so crazy, if Tong, not Tong, sorry, if Ame can sniff out truffle? And we were like, we would totally. I don't know. I think I would move to Paris or like Italy or something. I think every tenth one he finds, I'll I'll let him have one. Like mix it in his kibbles. The soup disappeared. It's been sitting here so long.
Okay guys, I am going to end the video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mukbang. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend by the way.